All right, I got to tell you what's happening today because somebody's very special is to my immediate left. The uh, the Armed Forces Foundation has been doing this now for six years. It's a chance, a gala. It's a, a chance to fundraise and say thank you to all those who support this fantastic organization. You know, as our military gears up in two wars and fights the war on terror around the goal, uh, around the globe, it costs money. It means that parents and kids are not together as those serve, and it means that they oftentimes need medical care afterwards, and sometimes the government can't provide. You need organizations like that. Joining us right now, Patricia Driscoll, the president, executive director of the Armed Forces Foundation that basically got the who's who of defense world, the who's who of Congress, and the who's who in government. You had a message from President Bush and a message from Speaker Pelosi. Patricia, welcome back. Thanks for having us. All right, first off, what was your what was it your mission and your staff's mission to do? Why, why form the Armed Forces Foundation? We formed the Armed Forces Foundation to take care of our, our the immediate needs of our wounded and their, and their families. Um, you know, when somebody gets wounded, uh, the families flown to the hospitals right. to meet their wounded loved ones, and they have to leave their jobs. When they leave their jobs, they don't have any money. Um, we come in and pay those bills so that they actually have a home to come home to while they're dealing with this serious injury instead of racking up a lot of debt. Now, one thing that, that really rips you apart is you you uh, you live to help the, the marinos in trouble. It's got trouble with the mortgage payments, uh, the separation between spouses. But basically, you can only help six percent of the people that give they come and request for your aid. Yeah, we we get. 500 valid requests a month um, for, for funding. And it, it just breaks my heart to have to say no. You, last night you went through five different scenarios of different families and, and with different soldiers and different Marines and airmen right. and what they need. Can you run through one of them for me and just say, give us an example of what the Armed Forces Foundation does? Sure. Um, we had a, a, a troop who um, his, his pay was suspended. He got hurt in, a, in an accident and because of some bureaucratic issues, switching between one command and another, his pay got suspended. He didn't have any furniture, but he got moved up to this area. Um, his family was at the hospital. They had no food. They were eating peanut butter and jelly every day. And, um, and this, the little kid actually kind of ratted everybody out and said, I'm hungry and I'm tired of it. And, and we came in and, and uh, found out that there was an issue. So we were actually able to, to deal with Marine Corps who, who fixed it instantly. Right. And then we came in and, and gave them immediate needs. Uh, we, we brought them air mattresses so they had something to sleep on it, but we also brought them food and some cash. Right. It bridges the gap between the bureaucracy right. and the people. I want you to bring it to one moment, which you do every year as you put together a video to give an idea of what's been happening over the last year. Right. And so many people say, oh, you serve in Afghanistan, you've been there two or three times. Well, your family's been with Without you for two or three times, and sometimes out of the last three years, you're gone for a year and a half. Here's an example of what goes on when dad or mom's away. I listen to the news to make sure my dad is safe. If I hear someone's hurt, I think of my dad. I want to cry, but he said he has to go help people. We will never give up and believe in yourself. Dad told me when he left to be strong and never give up. So you can help their families too, and, and you found that out too. There's a tremendous need here for people left behind. Absolutely. A lot of people forget that our families serve too. And so one of the things that we do is we provide morale and relief to these families because it's so important for America to stand behind our families and understand that without the support of these families, it makes our troops' job so much harder overseas. So we've got to, we've got to support our troops and, and, and our is, families. And how is that little girl? Oh, she's awesome. We actually brought her to Washington, D.C. And, and brought her and her family here, but this is her third deployment that she's dealing with. It's very, very tough for this family. You know, she's had to live um, getting to know her dad over email over the last few years, and, you know, she's only 10, and she has a little sister and a little brother, and the little brother doesn't even know his dad. You know. And how do we help out the Armed Forces Foundation families like this? Um, you can go online to www.armedforcesfoundation.org and find out how you can volunteer and what you can do and actually donate money. Or you can text um, AFF90999 and make a $10 donation off of your cell phone. We make uh, it easy. Patricia, it's amazing. Quick turnaround from you. Put together the gala and you're doing our show. Thanks yes. so much for coming down and thanks, thanks. for asking me, uh, asking me to help out. Thank you for doing it again. All right, no problem. Uh, Stephen Gretchen, what's straight ahead?